Good morning, Avan. Good morning, everybody. Yes, yesterday was a bit of a volatile day, and uh, as has been the last about three, four sessions. So this higher volatility seems to be because people are not having a very clear view, and therefore uh, market seems to be hitching its wagon to what's happening with the Dow, where two similar volatility is being seen. There, at least, they are having these Fed statements and various other data which keep coming out. So the data out, outpouring in the U.S. is, of course, I think whatever 10x more than what we see here. So they their markets have a lot to react to, and when we have uh, chosen to be aligned with what the Dow is doing, this sort of volatility is, I think, part for the course. The point is how to deal with this uh, kind of volatility at our level. I think. Uh, a simple uh, way to go would be to slightly step back and look at the bigger picture. Now we had this bottom in March, and then we have had this rally. So if I look at the daily charts and draw a simple trend line joining up, uh, the, you know, the March and uh, April May bottoms, I I do get a short-term support trend line, and this is currently cruising at about 9600 levels. So I think until that gets broken. The market's uptrend or the rally, which has been launched from March, does not get violated. So, what does this mean? It means that the market will have to do much before it turns a little bearish. So, uh, therefore, our um, action gets clarified. It, we either look for ranges or we look for a buy on dip uh, sort of approach. Now, it, uh, you know, shorter term players can look for ranges, while slightly longer term players can. Uh, you know, adopt the buy on the dip sort of approach. Now, with that in mind, uh, I'm I'm looking for the short term as a bit of a range. So I have a mix of a buy and a sell. For the buy, I have general steel and power metal stocks were beginning to take on a bit of a shine yesterday, and general steel uh, has been one of the strongest. Nice uh, look of the chart on the uh, daily. Looks like a flag and a breakout uh, in the offing here. 143 or thereabouts is the price can be a buyer with a 4 rupee stop loss targeting about 153.54 stock is in ban in futures so one will have to perforce do this trade on the cash side only uh, for the sell I am looking at PVR which had a spirited rally but the selling which came from the higher uh, levels was quite um, you know determined it appears and uh, from yesterday's price action I think it looks like it wants to continue or resume after a brief halt of a couple of sessions. So PVR is a sell with a stop at about 1000 rupees and a target at 960. Okay, a buy uh, on Jindal Steel, sell on PVR. That's the strategy that Dr. Narayan is working with. Meantime then, Kunal, let's find out what exactly is in store for our markets today. Are you bracing yourselves for a lot of volatility and what are your top bets? So good morning, Avan. Uh, yes, I believe the markets could go through a bit of a caution uh, over here. I think trimming of positions, you know, the data reflects uh, you know, some very interesting facts. I think the Nifty and the Bank Nifty futures in last uh, you know three days uh, have seen unwinding of almost 10,000 to 11,000 contracts respectively. Now that's an important aspect because now on one hand we are trying to indicate that the Nifty is nearing the 10,000 mark, and to try and break the 10,000 mark, you need a strong uh, you know built up of positions. But we've seen the reverse order. Happening and so maybe the couple of data points like U.S. China tensions, etc., uh, the, the India China tensions, etc., could probably be one of the reasons why the markets are a bit, uh, uh, you know, on the trade. The groups and traders are taking a bit of a back seat. Now, uh, you know, looking at the trends for U.S. markets as well, they are not encouraging on the Dow Jones charts. Uh, you know, even after yesterday's mild bit of recovery and rally. So in that regards, I would have slightly a cautionary bias and uh, you know, wait and watch on how the you know Nifty levels gets taken out. So two sell calls is what I would uh, you know indicate at this hour, and more towards the weaker stocks, especially in the market session yesterday. Axis Bank is the first recommendation on the sell side. I think the stock uh, you know yesterday fell on uh, much higher volumes. Uh, I think over the last two or three years, the stock had seen such kind of a you know uh, uh, heightened volume. So I'm sensing that this could be a start of a fresh downtrend for Axis Bank at least from the very near term. Hence, the sell on Axis Bank targets to be kept at 300. And 60 stop loss at 391. The second would be a sell on Shriram Transport. I think even this stock is now nearing a break below its 50 day moving average. It had a touch and go moment yesterday uh, above its 50 day moving average, but I'm sensing that with the slight weakness in the market opening, the stock could break back below its uh, 50 DMS. That's also a sell. Targets to be kept at 612. 
and stop box at 678. 